I'm going to take you on a little bit of a journey with the, with the numbers. Jamaica, just to indicate, WHO has some transmitter patterns. When we had no cases, sporadic cases, when we moved on the 10th of March to that, and then clusters of cases. The other phase, it's the community transmission, which may be imminent. So I must say, at no, this, these are the numbers from this morning at 8 a.m. The numbers has changed by four, but I think we can get the picture from what, what I have to say. 35 were imported and um, 11 are local transmission. These are cases which we cannot link otherwise. And um, we have 171 which are contacts to confirm cases. 306 persons out of the 474 are related to that workplace cluster. We have tested 6,095 of which we have the positives. So how does this rank with the other Caribbean countries? When we looked at 14 other Caribbean countries, as of yesterday's date, Jamaica ranked first with the total number of tests done. At yesterday, we were at 5,993. This was followed by the Cayman Islands at 3,050. But when we compare number of tests per population, Jamaica ranked eight. And first was Cayman Island at, at 46,000 per, per million. We came eight out of 14. With respect to the persons, their health, as CMO said early on, we have no critically ill person right now from COVID. Two are moderately ill, and um, we have more and more recovering each day. Most of the persons don't require hospitalization and are not necessarily isolated in hospital. So over time, we have seen the increase in cases. And take out the workplace cluster, we are on a, on a straight line. When we, take, when we have in that cluster, we are on a, what a exponential. So that was a surge. But that is not necessarily the true surge that we were thinking about. So when that surge occurred, we went to Dublin every five days. Currently, we are moving towards a 10-day doubling, or just about a 10-day doubling. So there is some flattening that is occurring. We look at the number of cases by their date of onset. Some persons would not have had symptoms, so we use the date of the test. And what we are seeing, it peaked around the 13th to 15th of of April and the numbers are decreasing currently. We looked at how did we find all these cases. The health department investigated all confirmed cases. They went and found 3,385 persons that were named. This is not including communities that have been surveyed. This method has been the most effective method, and we gained 390 cases from this method, many of which are asymptomatic, so we would not necessarily have found them. So we have been, that method is the method to pull out persons who may be infectious from the general population. So when we look at those cases that were contacts, the colors that are similar are the clusters of cases. So that orange would be those persons related to the workplace cluster. Looking at the age, for the most part, it's mo mostly the younger persons are involved. But when we take out the workplace cluster, then it's 
um, middle and older persons who are involved because the, the other group is younger. The workplace cluster is very young. When we look at the sex distribution, mostly females, but when we take out the workplace cluster, it's mostly males, 56% males compared to 44% females. When we look at parishes, St. Catherine, Leeds, followed by KC. When we take out the cluster, KC leads followed by St. Catherine. So looking at the workplace cluster, this map gives you the workplace cluster and where these um, workers are found. So symptoms, what did persons have? Most persons had cough and fever. But something that we have seen, the loss of sm smell and the loss of taste have been seen. When we look at combinations, persons tend to have only a cough followed by cough and fever together. We have had 473 con of the confirmed cases, about four, 42 had at least one of the top six comorbidities, and some had many. And the picture gives you the combinations that are there. So persons with asthma are coming out um, highly. So assessing community transmission. Community transmission may be silent. And what we want to do is find out what's happening in the community, because we don't want COVID-19 to start screaming at us. So the method that we use to find these is respiratory infection surveillance. So those persons who may have a fever and a cough or a sore throat, um, we are testing those. And this particular surveillance system found 36 cases. So since week 11, we have been seeing cases from this method. So what is saying to me, to us, is that there is some local transmission going on, even though it may not be um, large numbers yet, but something is happening. This means that we all have to be careful how we, we operate or, or how we act, because we, we don't know who may be having COVID positive. When we look at where we found these cases, the majority were in Kingston and St. Andrew, followed by St. Catherine, and also Portland, St. Mary, Clarendon, and the border of Manchester to Trelawney. Those are the areas of concern. So what are these numbers showing? The, that we are increasing the number of cases, clusters that are not related. We have COVID cases in all parishes except for Hanover. The number of cases identified through our respiratory surveillance that is trying to find the community transmission has been generally increasing since week 11. So the message to everybody, stay home unless you need to go out, essentials of life. And when you go out, stay at least six feet from others, wear a mask, remember to wash hands, with soap and water frequently, and stay home if sick. Work from home where possible, and we all need to protect the vulnerable.